just inside the 10 yard line. Burgess, first. That's for Grant Batty. John Williams, very good. Joe Curran. David Duckham, John Dawes, Mike Gibson. That's a great ball. So the Gibson man starts running early on. McBride trying to get. Wilkinson going. Williams again. Everyone with him. Sid going. Very little support. Good tackle by Slattery of Ireland. Almost on the halfway line. Kirkpatrick to Williams. This is great stuff. Phil Bennett covering. Chased by Alistair Scone. Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. John Williams, Brian Williams, Pullin, John Dawes, great dummy, it's David, Tom David, the halfway line, brilliant by Quinnell, this is Gareth Edwards, a dramatic start, what a score! Ballon a été détourné par Ackford pour les Anglais. Point d'impact des Français qui récupèrent cette balle par Tazdian. Et on progresse, c'est bien. On progresse collectivement. Il va falloir libérer au bon moment. On a fixé pratiquement tous les avant anglais, sauf Moore là-bas du côté opposé. Herbizier en avant. Il était mal placé. Monsieur Pierre, il n'a rien vu fort heureusement. Ballon récupéré par... Will Carling, le capitaine de l'équipe d'Angleterre qui s'enfonce petit côté, qui peut donner un Attention, il est dangereux, celui-ci, c'est un jet. Oh là là, Winterbottom passe en cloche, Tig était là à la réception. Une défense acharnée des Français, mais l'ouverte. Et M. Peard qui a interdit... Acrobatiquement, c'était la passe d'essai qui a été interceptée par Serge Blanco. Tout un peuple qui pousse derrière la mêlée anglaise, qui est stabilisé. Et Richard faut... garde la balle oui. en troisième ligne. Al en avant, Richard, il a touché la balle. L'arbitre laisse jouer tout de même. Attention en jeu français. C'est la dixième minute de ce match. L'équipe d'Angleterre mène 3-0. Pénalité d'Hodkinson dès la première minute. Deuxième tentative du buteur anglais. Moyenne en match international, 14 points pour l'Angleterre. Complètement en coin. Très difficile cette tentative. À Elle échoue. Côté. À côté, voilà un échec réconfortable pour, pour les buteurs. Ça prouve bien que. Oh la belle contre-attaque. Oh, oui, 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 c'est là. C'est là tout seul, isolé un peu, il trouve du soutien. Didier Le mouvement Cameroun. peut continuer pour les Français. Quand qui tape à suivre pour lui-même, ils arrivent dans les 22 mètres de l'équipe d'Angleterre. C'est un essai, ça C'est André Et c'est entre les poteaux Magnifique Allez, pourquoi pas voler un, un petit ballon en touche Rampelli qui vient d'entrer en jeu, le poste du numéro 8. Si on pouvait voler un petit ballon en touche là. Allez, celle-là. Allez, non, toujours pas. Ballon pour les Néo-Zélandais, Stu Forcer. Les Néo-Zélandais qui conservent le ballon avec Brewer. Brewer qui demande à Fitzpatrick de l'accompagner. Brewer qui charge, Merle est là pour l'arrêter. Ballon toujours pour les Néo-Zélandais. Les Néo-Zélandais qui vont essayer sûrement de garder le ballon au maximum euh, au sol. Le coup de pied de Bachop récupéré par Saint-André. Il ne tape pas la relance de Saint-André. Saint-André qui relance, il efface deux adversaires, il est pris. Il est pris Philippe Saint-André. Ballon bien libéré, attention ça peut être dangereux. Gonzalez, Bordello. 
Dello pour Benazi. Benazi qui fait l'intérieur, il est carte avec Tabac. Il y a encore Sénat là-bas, Tabac qui revient à l'intérieur. Cabane maintenant. Cabane pour Deleg. Deleg est passé sur le 22 mètres de Zélandais. Le ballon pour Akosemeri, maître pris Akosemeri pour sa grande A bit of erratic play there by Osmond. New Zealand goes back to halfway. And now bash it to Mertens. Tremendous run there by Mike Brewer. New Zealand have begun the game at the pace. I think they'll want to play it. Walter Little, Frank Bunce takes the tackle. No sign yet of an early penalty by referee Hilditch. Bash up again, New Zealand maintaining possession. Wide to Lomu. He's got the bounce. He's handed it off his opposite. Lomu. Muscle and pump, he's over for the early try. Two minutes into the game, Jonah Lomu managed to create the space on the outside, but Lomu had a lot of work to do. He pushed Underwood off, he's gone straight down the line, Carling didn't get near him, off balance, gets over the top of Cat and scores the try. Experience must kick for goal this half. That's why the tee is so high to enable that kind of loft, but Grucock as ever, standing firm. He's fearsomely organized, isn't he, in his play, Danny Grucock. Everything he does, he does so well. And he practices so hard. For moments like that, Howley. Wilkinson wanting the ball, wanting to come flat. Henderson, O'Driscoll, risking that. Bolshaw is on as well. So he's replaced Matt Perry. News just coming through on that. Perry injured in the first half, remember. This is O'Driscoll! He's gone through! Oh, he's going! O'Driscoll for the post! Brian O'Driscoll! Oh, you beauty! That is incredible! Cut Australia to pieces. In and out. George Smith has gone too wide. He's beaten, Burt's beaten, the change of pace. Where was George Smith? Where were the Wallabies? Genius. They call him God. Well, I reckon he's a better player than that. Taken there at the front by... Good jump Nathan by Nathan Sharp. Sharp. This is Robinson on halfway. Little chip over the top, Regan's there. Ah. And George must have felt he was on the Ferris wheel. Mike Tyndall out there. Looks like he's about to throw him into the stands. England going up the back of the line out, but making heavy weather of it out there. Greenwood has really risen to the occasion tonight. Here's Delalio, the big man with a lovely pass to Wilkinson and Robinson. They won't catch him. Jason Robinson! Fantastic work by Delalio and Vision. And then Johnny Wilkinson looked outside for his speed man in Robinson. Gallagher takes it and away goes the little halfback. Showing uh, good strength. Now Soyalo feeds it off to Carter. Carter to Umanga. Almost got through. Got the pass away beautifully. Amazing offloading the tackle. There it is for Sivi Vatu, who did really well to get in there quickly. Williams, hoping to free the arms, but couldn't do so. Oh, good drive, New Zealand. The Lions players wrapped him up, but I thought that was great. Carter gets it quickly, at least Callagher does. Now Chad Soyalo passes away beautifully for Dan Carter. Carter kick and chase, and Carter scores! What a brilliant try for Dan Carter. And it's cleared with a beautiful pass. And he just chipped it ahead. And look at that. Six and a half minutes. 
That's all there is. And there are men on the far side. It's Faree, he's got power. Oh, has he got it down if he has? It could be a history-making finish. Shark Faree. They are the world champions. And don't the Lions know it here? No stability. No stability, guys. You don't forget, it may seem like a detail, but South Africa are down to 14. You can see there how Yanni Duplessis has board, come back. South Africa have had to sacrifice another player. Well, that's the image which crystallizes the moment, doesn't it? Brighton has become the centre of the rugby world. That's the wonder of the World Cup. It's well disrupted by South Africa. Japan still have it. Here's Leach, the captain. It's about it was who cut him down. There's Hiwasa. They're six metres away. Hiwasa again. Japan cannot afford an error. Creel is screaming in the centre there for South Africa for defenders to come round that corner. They've got numbers out wide here, perhaps. The defensive cover is there. They still have it, Japan. There goes Leach, the captain. Oh, the tackle's high. Well, the referee, you can see how, and Salmi perhaps pointing there. The space out wide here for Japan. There's Heska. He's done it. The greatest moment in Japanese rugby history. He knows how to finish off a try, and when he's five yards on the try line like that, it'll take a good defender to stop him. Lost by England, and so that's a good number up well across to the left, but they'll go to the Booming boot of Franz Stein, who is hoping his side can hold on and he can get his second World Cup winner's medal. He did it in 2007. He's the only man left on the field for South Africa. Looking to do that, Franz Stein. Sets up at fullback. Johnny Pollard back there for Cruz. It has been immense all night long, this South African defence. Can it hold on here? Overrun on the outside, and then Joseph is chopped low by you-know-who, Damien Dalende. Youngs to Marla. Marla throws himself towards Moster. Now they come back in field. It's popped up here for Wilson. There's just no way through. Across the park they come, and losing it. Arms there, pops up in a toy. Here comes Cheslin Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence, beats one, still going. Cheslin Colby, Cheslin Colby, South Africa, the World Cup is theirs. Well, Cheslin Colby. Remember, is running on one ankle, couldn't go last week in the semi-final, can go in the final. Chislin Colby is top shelf. Francois Pina, that way, son, that way. Oh, brilliant scenes.